Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a classic Edmund 3-inch refractor, F15. Beautiful scope, superb optics. We're going to compare that with its bigger sibling, the Edmund 4-inch. As you can see with the Edmund 3 inch, it is slightly more convenient because you can slide the tube back and forth on this uh, somewhat awkward but workable kind of a, a mounting cradle. This one has fixed positions. You don't have any choice about where this thing mounts. So that's a slight advantage, although it's a bit of a chore to put this thing on here. I'll show you some close-ups of this thing. Let's compare the 3 inch with the 4 inch. The 3 inch has uh, a much lighter weight mount. It's uh, good enough though. The typical Edmund philosophy seems to be make it just good enough and very reasonably priced. Uh, and high quality optics. They had high quality optics in these scopes. Uh, so this one is a much heavier mount. A lot more uh, weight to haul around. Uh, about the same in terms of convenience. They're both not terribly inconvenient, but not terribly easy to put together. The mounts, uh, I would say, are primitive, workable, not elegant, but they're okay. Uh, just good enough. Here's a close-up of the right ascension setting circle on the Edmund 3-inch. You can turn it around like that. It's just a simple old piece of plastic there. Does the job. If I can show you the declination. It's the declination setting circle. This would appear to be just uh, a nail <laughs> that's painted for a pointer. Simple. <laughs> very, very simple. Even primitive. Works okay. Here's the mounting system. You can see that uh, it's got a saddle here. Very simple, kind of a, just a friction clamp made from some quarter inch 20 bolts. Simple as it could be. It does work all right. Compare that with the mounting system on the 4-inch. These bolts are right into the tube here, and you have only one place to put those wing nuts, right there. So that's how you balance it. You also have a counterweight balancing system as shown in another video. The right ascension circle on the 4-inch. Very similar philosophy. Slightly more elegant <laughs> pointer. Uh, not much more elegant. Just a piece of plastic with a sharp point on it. Anyway, uh, typical Edmund, very effective and very simple. Declination setting circle, similar. Simple piece of plastic with a plastic pointer on the 4-inch. Both the 3-inch and the 4-inch feature a, an identical 
probably 6x25, maybe 6x30 finder. Uh, here's the focus device for it. Cute little finder, works fine. Here's a look at the uh, spreader system on these scopes. It's a very simple system. Just a bolt holding three metal straps there with slots in them. That's all there is to it. The nice thing about it is it's, uh, although it, it seems flimsy, it's strong enough. It's adequate. Uh, it's nicely adjustable too, so that's one of the things I really like about it. A fixed spreader is kind of a chore sometimes. This one you can kind of put it together wherever it is and slide it around if you need to. Um, and it works just great even though it looks a little flimsy. Both the 3 inch and the 4 inch feature this uh, removable dew shield. Slides right off. Apparently a piece of molded aluminum I think. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Edmund 3-inch refractor. Thank you very much for watching.